Hello, in this video we will explore using Photograve to process photos for laser engraving. I've already launched Photograve and I'll open my image. Next I will select the material that I will engrave upon. You are given many many different choices. I will be engraving on an alder wood plaque. Then I need to resize the image. You must always use a high quality image and adjust the resolution if needed to 300 and I adjust the size for the size of my plaque and I'll click on OK. Next I'll click on the final process button and this will give me an idea of what my finished product will look like. Then we have to save the appropriate image. So clicking on save image it already has a little radio button selected next to the item that I need, which is the engraved image. I'll click on OK. If you are using Corel Draw X5 or earlier, you can go ahead and click on Save if you're saving the image in the correct location. For version X6 of Corel, you need to go down and change the type of image to the Windows bitmap. And then I'll click on Save. The image has been successfully saved, so I click on OK. I do not need any other versions of this image, so then I'll click on Exit. In Corel Draw, I have my layout ready. I'll go to File, Import, and I'll find the image that was processed in Photograve. And you'll notice that Photograve puts in ENG for engraved in parentheses, so you'll know that you have the proper image to import. I'll bring it in. and move it around accordingly and I can resize any other elements needed and as you will notice the image coming in will look like this. This is normal but it will engrave and you'll find a finished product similar to what Photograve has shown you. And thank you for learning how to use Photograve. For more information or to sign up for your free trial, visit laserU.com.